Strava and I have been friends for many, many years. We've raced together, we've trained together, we've ridden everywhere around the world, we go on holidays together, we even go for long walks on the beach together. It's kind of creepy. I'm a Strava Premium member and I have been for years because I pay for the service that I use on a daily basis. Now, as a daily user of Strava, something that's popped up recently that we need to have a chat about. So up here, that's what I'm talking about there, the Give Premium button. Before paying for Strava, it will say Go Premium and you're blasted out saying Go Premium because you're using the service for free. But as a paying member of Strava, we are now blasted with the Give Premium. I'm not sure which boardroom people sat around in and thought it was a good idea to try and sell Strava to those who are already paying for Strava. That makes no sense. So over to the UI and UX experts. Why are we blasted with a big button up there that's next to the alert button? I wanna know when someone gives me kudos, follows me, gives me a bit of a ride on here and there, or makes a comment, but that is overpowering, that big button there. A few weeks back over on Twitter, Jamie posed a question to Strava. Hey Strava, the big red button, it's orange, uh, that says give premium. How do we, you know, turn that stuff off? Jamie, I think we can be friends. I have exactly the same problem with that big red button, orange button on the screen there, blasting away, trying to remind me to pay for somebody else's when I'm... Jamie, what you're after is an add-on called Adblock Plus. I'll show you here today on Google Chrome. Firefox and a few other browsers are also supported. So adblockplus.org, add the extension, and away you go from there. But the trick to get rid of that button up there, head on over to Strava once the plugin is installed. Click the plugin, click on block element, close that little browser and see when you mouse over the give premium button there, it goes yellow, click once, click add, voila, it's gone for good. Well, for now anyway. There's also an extra trick as well. The button to actually click is still there. So you can also do the same process again, block element, close that down and then click on that. We'll add a filter called strava.com hash experiment. I'm not sure what it's experimenting with, but it's now gone for good. So there we go. Strava, by the way, if you can give us access to turn that off, that would be great. We are premium users and we deserve the premium experience. Go nuts with people who aren't paying for the service and spam them like anything else. But for us, leave it nice and clean. Jamie, there you go. That's how it's done. Hopefully that's been informative. So there's today's tip, a browser extension for Strava, which isn't exactly directly for Strava, but it really cleans things up. Alrighty, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.